Hi guys, what's going on? Good to see you again in September. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winnerable Your Commons. Today is going to be my September market update for all Seattle areas and all locations. And I will provide for you guys a lot of interesting data and stats in this episode. And before we jump into the market update, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I will provide for you a lot of information you can use to build your wealth in the future. And let's begin. Guys, I'm very disappointed. Many people watch YouTube and many people watch those YouTubers stated market going to be crashed for about 60%. And many people telling me, Oleg, let's see, we're going to have another storm. We're going to be have 2008. So, but now market actually really changing. Now market really going to the buyer's favor directions when we have more homes available in the market people can actually buy it they don't have to compete with 20 other buyers and now what majority of the buyers they cannot afford to buy house because mortgage rates went up so much houses become unaffordable and let's watch together what feds not long time ago just says and advise buyers to do you need a bit of a reset. We, we need to get back to a place where, where supply and demand are, are back uh, together and where inflation is down low again and mortgages are, mortgage rates are low again. So this, this will be a process whereby we ideally we, we, we do our work in a way that where the housing market settles in a new place and housing availability and, and credit availability are at appropriate levels. Friends, John Powell advise you guys not to buy any homes right now till better times. So till times when homes become more affordable and rates will improve for lower rates comparable to today's rates and people can afford to buy homes some days in the future. And what's happening right now? He created perfect storm. He created fear on the market when the buyers afraid to buy properties and what's happening those buyers if they not become homeowner and not buy homes they become renters and rental pool increase in all seattle areas and all seattle locations right now majority of people who was thinking to buy or not to buy was on the edge to buy or not to buy they're like okay let's wait another year let's sign lease let's find property to rent and they become renters we have more people who's become renters and looking for home to rent and rental prices with that guys going up so going up a lot in all location we have high demand for rental market we have lower prices and guess what? And guys, you should know for the last five years, 20% of all purchases was purchased for cash. So majority of those people buying homes for themselves because they're wealthy or because the investors have money to invest in real estate and want to create rental pool for themselves. If you compare a year ago to today's, when the better time to buy rental home? Year ago, or today a year ago when prices was high and rent was lower or today when the prices is lower and rent is higher because we have high demand on the rental market from those buyers whose fear to buy home right now you guys clearly see the answer today if you are investor and looking for investment property today it's a better time to buy home with a lot of people who wants to rent your house comparable to a year ago. You guys have a magic wand and pretend you can jump back to 2008, 2009 and somebody will tell you, you can buy a house at that time. Will you buy it or not? You answer my question. And if you know like what's going to be happening with next decade, with the prices like happens before, those people who's buying properties before in 2008, 2009 make a fortune, make amazing wealth for themselves. But a lot of people was on the edge like right now and a lot of people waiting for 2008, which most likely will never happen. I can say I can divide the buyers to 
three group of people. And first group of people, they are speculators, who's like telling me and telling everybody, 2008 is coming, we're gonna have a huge storm and let's wait. And they already waiting for last 20 years. And they most likely never going to buy the house because as I said already, you cannot time the market. Even if right now the price is better and improve comparable to a few years ago. And even if prices will even more improve, but mortgage interest rates going up, they're not going to be able to buy house because they're not going to be able to afford to buy house because the payment increased so much with mortgage interest rate. And how you can time mortgage interest rate and real estate prices, you cannot do that. It's almost impossible. And those people are going to be always on the edge, always waiting. And this is like one group of people. Second group of buyers, investors. As you guys know, and I already talk about that, 20% of all homes in Seattle and the side for last five years was purchased for cash. Those cash buyers are wealthy people, they buy houses for themselves or buying for their investor pool. A lot of people invest in real estate because they was worried about stock market, they were thinking we're gonna go to recession as we go right now. And many people relocate money from stocks, they sell in their Tesla stocks and other stocks and put in real estate market because real estate is a great hedge against inflation. And those people have even more insensitivity right now with lower prices and higher rent amount because they can rent house for hire. Those people are wealthy people and they're going to be become even more wealthier with this shifting market. And third group of buyers is buyers who are going to buy property no matter what if they are going to be afford. Those buyers who have jobs, have family, have kids, they need a great school and they're really tired about uh, be renters and they're tired when landlord calls them every year and increase from 10 to 15 percent rent every year. So they're tired about that. They want to have stability in their life. They want to use uh, tax advantages, uh, 10,000 write-off for property taxes every year. Uh, they want to write-off uh, mortgage interest payment for the house every year. Uh, they tax savvy. Those buyers who just simply want to have something secure, they want to have house, they can pass for the kids, and they're willing to invest in real estate, and those buyers are going to be buy as well. So basically, uh, this is a group of buyers, a third group of buyers are always going to buy, and investors are always going to buy. And speculators are going to be always speculate, and always worry, and always be in the age, and it's probably never going to be buy real estate. Those three group of buyers we have. But right now, let's jump into the real numbers, see what's happening in Seattle, and see what's happening with the supply and demand and where this market is moving. I will start to show you guys months of supply of inventory for current months. This is very important data. It plays along with economy, supply and demand, and with unemployment, and with mortgage interest rate. Uh, because uh, it shows you guys where we have seller's market and where we have buyer's market and where we have balance market. Green colors represent balance market and blue it's a buyer's market. So we don't have any buyer's market anywhere right now in Puget Sound, but we do have some areas where we have a balance market and majority of this balance market in downtown Seattle, Seattle West Core, and also east side, specifically West Bellevue and some parts of Taquila. Those areas is right now, it's a balanced market and have over two months of supply. All other areas you guys can see in the yellow color, we have less than two months of supply 
for inventory for current months. And now let's jump into more specific data. So I will talk about East Side. What I mean about East Side? East Side have a combination of different cities like uh, Mercer Island, West Bellevue, East Bellevue, Lake Sammamish, Issaquah, Kirkland. Juanita, Woodenville, all those locations and neighborhoods combined together to specific data. Why I'm doing this? Because uh, this information from Northwest MLS, we have Central Northwest MLS in Washington State, and Northwest MLS uh, divided areas for different locations. And uh, if we, we cannot just talk about West Bellevue or East Bellevue because numbers will be different, but we combine all together and talk about all East Side location together to see where this all East Side market is moving. And you guys can see on the slide with me together for all east side locations, we have right now 1.6 months of inventory. We have less inventory than we used to have last month. Year over year, price increased for 4%. And now medium sell price on the east side, $1,350,000. Price actually decreased comparable to a few months ago or like six months ago. For the last six months, price has decreased. But comparable to a year ago, prices increased, increased for 4%. East Bellevue, we have 1.4 months of inventory uh, with 1% uh, increase year over year. A medium sell price for East Bellevue only right now, $1,400,000. And uh, for West Bellevue, we have right now balanced market with more than two months inventory. We have uh, 3.8 months inventory, almost a buyer's market. And medium sell price right now in West Bellevue, $3,300,000. But price decline in West Bellevue comparable to a year ago for about 11%. And now when we back to east side, you guys can see on the slide, 13% homes selling above asking price, 10% selling at asking price, and 30% homes we didn't have that before selling below asking price. 52% homes selling less than 15 days on the market. But for sellers, guys, it's important data. You guys can see if you list property in the right price and prepare property for the market, those property who selling First 15 days on the market selling about 99% from the list price. But property who stays on the market between 61 and 90 days selling for 84% from the original list price. So 84% it's much lower. It's like almost like 16% less from original list price. Price. So price in the house is makes big difference for the sellers and make sure you guys price it property in adjustments to today's market. Now let's talk about Seattle. So Seattle uh, combine also different locations, different areas like West Seattle, East Seattle, Central Seattle, North Seattle, Queen Anne, Ballard, Green Lake. So all those areas, uh, they have different prices and not just MLS combined to different locations, different codes, let's say. And I will combine all these areas and we'll talk about all Seattle locations and uh, let's jump in right to the price. So medium sell price in Seattle right now, $927,000, an increase 6% year over year. Price not decrease in Seattle yet. So it's increased actually 6% year over year. In Seattle, we have 1.4 months inventory. Oops, and what's happened? We have less inventory than we have last month. And uh, okay, well, well, we'll see what's going to be happen next month. But right now we have less inventory this month than we had inventory last month in Seattle. And uh, we do have in Seattle like better numbers than on east side for numbers of homes selling about asking price. We have 26% homes selling above asking price, 21% homes selling at asking price, and only 22% selling below asking price and 65% of all homes in Seattle selling less than 15 days on the market. We still have a seller's market in Seattle and uh, important data for sellers as well. I want to point for you guys this information. If you guys price it right, uh, if your house sell less than 15 days, they're pretty much selling 100% from original list price. Homes staying on the market from 61 to 90 days, selling 87.3% from original list price, selling much lower. So it's very important for sellers, if you are a seller, to price it property right. And if you guys need my help, reach out to me, I will be glad to provide my 
evaluations and very helpful resources to make sure you price this property right. Let's think together where this market is moving and what's going to be happen in the near future. As I'm always saying for you guys, we have a lot of different players on the market. So main one is supply, demand, economy, mortgage interest rate and unemployment. So this is very, very big players. What I see right now in certain locations, the big companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Google, they're not really hiring, but they're not firing people. They put a freeze on hiring employees, but they try to keep those employees because they know, those companies know, they're going to need those employees very soon again when the economy rebound and they need this workforce. They cannot let those people go. That's why we don't have unemployment increasing right now in our location. So economy pretty good, pretty strong. What's bad right now happening, it's a mortgage interest rate. And Feds try to uh, fight with inflation and they try to fight with inflation probably to the end, make sure inflation is going to be again two or three percent. And who knows how long it's gonna take, maybe gonna take a couple of years, but mortgage rates probably going to be higher for some time. And supply and demand is very important players too as well, because uh, for those people who take taken mortgage uh, yes, this mortgage rate is important, but for those people who buy property for cash, mortgage rate doesn't make any difference. Right now is a better time than buying a year ago, for sure. What changes do we have for the last few months? So, changes I see, we moving from more supply to less supply for last months, and uh, so less supply it means uh, will be less available properties for the buyers, less people going to sell property. And it's very explainable why it's going to be happening because investors rent property when they're buying, they're buying for cash, they don't have reason to sell when the market's shifting. A majority of the people refinance property like myself, we have 2.75% mortgage interest rate for properties and we don't need to sell the properties. And, uh, and we have like very small pool of properties when people can sell. I can sell like in settled area, probably eight to 10% properties people will sell. People who have to move, people have to move different states for job or retirement. Retirees, they might need to sell property if they're in specific age. Those property will be available on the market. But again, we don't have a lot of supply right now and looks like a supply is shrinking comparable to last month and looks like we're going to have less supply by end of September and we're going to be uh, living normal seasonal market when a lot of homes selling in spring and, and summertime and much less homes selling in the winter time and, and fall. So we're going to have less, 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 less homes, but we're still going to have a lot of those buyers who wants to buy, investors wants to buy because it's a good time to buy. And um, those people will watch for the properties, what's, what's available opportunities in the market probably until January and February. And if you're going to have a lot of buyers waiting until January to buy some properties and we're going to have less supply in October, November, and December, uh, what's going to be happening with the market? Probably market going to be shift again more to the seller's advantage and prices may be going to go up again in January. And it depends on the interest rate. Mortgage rates might be going to be worse next month, but if Fed decide in January or February to reduce mortgage interest rate, market can flip overnight like a stock market and all those thousand buyers will be unleashed everything will be sold out will be multiple offers again and we're going to have the same situation as we have a year ago in real estate market so right now guys if you're looking to buy a property it's difficult to buy with high mortgage interest rate if you're looking for finances but it's a good time to buy from september till january you have only those five months to choose your property, buy property, secure best possible deal, lowest possible price before prices increase again. So that's my thoughts about real estate market. And with that, guys, I'd like to wrap up this video. Smash the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, stay tuned. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. We'd love to be your real estate resource. If you're a buyer and looking to buy now or six months from now, Call me, text me, email me. I will provide you guys free consultations, deep review of local market or specific area when you're looking to buy. And if you're a seller, I will help you as well to get top dollar 
for your house in today's market. Reach out to me. I'm local agent. I'm local professional. I work in this market for 22 years. I know what I'm doing. I'll be glad to help you. And with that, guys, enjoy your week. Until next episode.